Good evening, pattern watchers. What's good? How is everyone? What is happening? Yes, 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 yes. Christian, thank you very much. I will be flipping it over to the bigger screen. Just wait for a few people to come into the room. Let's get this shared across the board. Let's get it over to the Discord because I don't know if it's going to come through. That should be it. I think it's actually not posted it yet. There we go. All right then, what's going on guys? How are we anyway? Bit of a chaotic day today. Well, why would it be chaotic? Yeah, why would it be chaotic? What's happening to System Hack? Gonna get popcorn. I know, 28 videos for the Patreons today. We were talking you through and through this crazy movement and towards the finalization which i'll be going through shortly um there's a reason why i've got this image right now you can see in front of you why price why i've got this right in front of us the 33747 but let's 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 do what we need to do guys yep class is in session we have the podcast in half an hour's time guys so i'm going to give you everything that you need it's going to be a bit of a short stream okay but i'm going to give you everything that you need my advice to you is you pay attention to the charts and be cautious about what is happening tomorrow night we're going to have a little bit of a longer stream because it's the midweek reversal and i just i just need to have i just need to have some energy for tonight because we've got state of crypto coming onto the podcast and we're going to have a good little podcast session tonight. And then it all starts again tomorrow. All right. Yeah, so forgive me if you couldn't keep up with the updates on the Patreon today. But like I said, that's exactly what it is you guys need in there. All right. So. Let's roll out. Here we go. So from today's behavior. All right. Bitcoin has done some very interesting movements. Now, if you pay close attention, this 33747, I just posted it into the Discord. And the reason being is because it was a quick projection. All right. I wanted to give a projection just because some people are doubtful. And I don't blame them to feel doubtful. But this is what it was earlier on today. All right. We did this quick projection because we understood something. I'm going to flip it over to the screen so you can see it. But earlier on today, 10 to 8, we anticipated that this stopping volume candle and the fact that price, the green stopping volume candle. Now, I know you can't see my cursor, but pay attention to the green stopping volume. All right. The vector started to slow down as price came lower. All right. When you see the vector slowing down. All right. One way or another, you're going to see a vector. Now, it's either going to be a nice final climatic pump to the downside, which will then be followed by a reversal back up, or you're going to see a vector candle where they hold the zone. And what we understand this vector candle to be is stopping volume. All right. So I anticipated that the 33747 would get tapped and pull back. And she's just done that. And now the situation has changed completely because now it's just completely just riding straight through that point. There she is right there. Why did we understand that? Well, firstly, this is what you need to understand. Okay, no worries, Ryan. I'm ho I, hope you, I hope you got those videos well. Why did we understand that price would come here? Simple, all right? Vector started to slow down. Price came down at the area of support one. It came below the average daily range right there, all right? This long vector candle here with stopping volume came in. But if you pay attention to the RSI as well, it came in inside the volatility band. So as price was going lower, divergence right there. Price was closing higher. That was the signal right there that things were going to change. Now, is this going to be the move that sends price higher? Because look, Bitcoin hasn't hesitated to go straight back to the 50 at a moment's notice. 
How many times have we been wait have we been waiting for the 50? Look at this move here. Price come back down, came up, stalled a little bit, then it came out into the 50, came back down straight away. This is a strong conviction to come back to the 50 EMA. Very important sort um behavior by the market makers. All right? If I flip it over to Ethereum, same story right here. She's actually come back and tapped the psychological low yet again. The psychological low right now seems to be an area of resistance. Okay, as I said to you, price can either break through the psychological low and continue lower or it can come back to the psychological low, try and tap it and then break down and go to the downside again. Now, this looks like a standard V formation. However, we are waiting for a bigger pattern to come into play. I'm anticipating that Bitcoin will come up and try and break the 50 EMA because look, considering that price today, which is the daily open right there, had completely dropped. Look at how much ground they recovered. All right. That is a lot of strength. That's a lot of support. And they came back and recovered this red vector candle. If you were watching the previous, um, if you were watching the videos in the Patreon and the little quick update, we mentioned that this vector candle would be seen again. Okay. So that was a nice little flip for you guys towards the end of the day. Okay. Now, the general consensus across the board is everyone is feeling a little bit low with Bitcoin. All right. I've been paying attention to CryptoCraft, which is a platform on IC Mark, uh, not IC Markets, on um, on Forex Factory. So if you guys head, go over to CryptoCraft.com, all right, it just gives you, it takes all the news articles that are being discussed across the board and in relation to crypto. So if, you know, there's a couple of articles on there. Let me bring it up for you now so you guys can see it as a little quick reference point for you all. All right. So just give me a second. Let me share that with you. And it's, it's a nice little thing and it does really help. It's originally made for Forex. Forex Factory come up with this and love, love Forex Factory. It used to be the haven for me. But this is what it is, CryptoCraft. So if you go into forexfactory.com or just type cryptocraft.com, here are the articles that you see. And people having ongoing conversations. All right. Now, if you look at the news, it tells you where the news is relevant or not. So if it's a gold star, it means it's quite an impressionable, impressionable information. Red means it's high impact. So medium impact, high impact. All right. So you can see MicroStrategy has received 1.6 billion in orders for their $500 million offering. That's, you know, important news. You've also got Bitcoin price analysis. You've got this conversation here, which says IRS chief asks Congress for authority to regulate crypto. That's going to be a game changer. Once you regulate crypto, the adoption will be massive. All right. The adoption will be huge. All right. And you just can see the news that all comes out. And it's really good. This is because Forex Factory originally takes all information about Forex and puts it into this platform. Now they're doing the same with crypto. So check it out, guys. It might help you out. If there's any news that comes out, it's usually going to hit on this platform. And you can see where the news announcements come from. You've got Coindesk, YouTube, Blogport, um, Amb, Amb Crypto, Daily Mail, decrypt so it puts everything across the board into one spot for you guys just for easy access all right no worries henry no worries okay then cool that's that discussion right there so where do we anticipate bitcoin and ethereum to go next well what do we understand guys all right let's zoom out okay first things first what i'm going to do is i'm going to clean up the chart so it's visible whoa sorry so it's visible for you all all right completely going to go out of this and i'm going to get rid of absolutely everything okay i'm going to get rid of absolutely everything except pips 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 asian gap time getting rid of that getting rid of the pivots gonna keep the psychological levels keep the adr um i'm gonna leave it at that actually i am gonna get rid of those levels as well i'm gonna give you a clean chart guys completely clean chart get rid of that pips marker nothing adr nothing because i need to bring it back to basics to all of you all right uh, multi ema keep the ema currency symbol get rid of that done why am i not seeing that indicators 
that should be there multi ema psychological adr3 get rid of that moving average keep the t get rid of the tdi get up i'm going to get absolutely rid of everything and the psychological levels absolutely gone all right here we go here's your cleanest chart guys all right i'm gonna start straight from the beginning okay let's start from here remember guys this is going to be a short stream here we go it all started from this point here 63 m formation drop level one rise drop Drop level two, come back into consolidation. Drop level three, peak formation. Okay? That's where we are right now. Okay? This is a new W formation. But if you step back, okay, you can take this as the bigger pattern, which is what we've been watching for a little while. Draw up your lines to that point. Come back down. And now you've got what we understand to be the support. They've hit it once, twice, three times. Okay? If we go back to the main chart, look at where we are. It's only come back into this point in the chart that we've been anticipating. It came down once, but now it's completely come back into that zone, which solidifies an inverted head and shoulders pattern. All right? We bring it back to you again on this chart. Now, what do we need to see? Look. Notable volume coming in at the highs. Low, low, low. They're taking the orders to the downside. They're accumulating. Will it stop? We will only know when they hit and break below this zone right here. All right? The 28,464 point is very important in the chart, guys. If it breaks below that point, this whole accumulation zone right here is not finished. Okay? Okay? Forget the levels, guys. Forget everything. We're looking at things from a pattern perspective. All right? We've got three hits to the low. We could even go to the extreme of saying that this, this, and this are your inverted head and shoulders points. All right? Variation on the W. So important. Because I'm noticing a lot of people are becoming doubtful of everything. You've got to understand, guys. Price has been manipulated People talking tweets, talking, you know, talking bad shit about cryptocurrency across the board. Now, all of a sudden, you're going to get a plethora of great news coming through. All right. People are feeling fearful. People are not really looking to buy. People are, I mean, look, if you look at the 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 Miami conference, um, the Bitcoin Miami conference that happened, the crypto convention. All right. The main emphasis there was to hold as much of it as you can. Just hold and hold and hold. All right. This could be the result of that, that they're trying to shake everyone out. But the loyalty that people have, they don't care if they're in the red by 90%. They're just going to see if they can sit it out. But guys, it's not a wise move to do. But that was the general consensus of that convention that actually happened. The conference as such. All right. Now, this is on the one hour time frame. Bitcoin has shown a notable volume coming in at the lows. All right. We've recovered the first red candle. Next red candle may come into sight tonight. We've got these points of interest in the charts. Up here. Up here. Down here. And here as well. Okay. These are the points that they may likely go. Let's assume they don't. Let's zoom out. All right. We're going to have to go on the higher time frame to understand this. Okay. Bitcoin is still in its peak formation zone. Okay. It's recovered this vector candle right here. It's recovered pretty much that vector there. And it's come down all the way to the M0 point, which sits right here. It's still within its peak formation from the last time it made a massive move to the upside. All right. So there's one or two things. Look at the cycle right there. There is your pattern. W formation, rise level one, drop, rise level two, drop, rise level three, consolidation, peak formation, 
Head and shoulders, massive head and shoulders. Drop level one, drop level two, peak formation. Okay. So, you know, gear of fear and greed index is at 13 right now. Good in indication we are bottoming. Listen, regardless of whatever indication is out there, okay, market makers will make it work for people to get back in. And the only way they can do that, look at that volume candle right there. Huge. To encompass the previous vector and recover another vector, market makers are stepping in now. This may be the second leg that is forming to move price higher. Okay? This may be the leg that forms it. What are you waiting for? Confirmation. Wait for price to break above the 50 EMA on the one hour time frame. Wait for a clean break. Okay? But you want to really see a break on the 200 EMA, which is the 50 EMA on the four hour time frame. That's where your focus should be. All right? Let them deliver price. Let them bring it towards you. If you want to be able to exploit these positions right here, the onus is on you guys. It's down to you. I'm not going to cut through any corners. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This game is tough and I will keep saying it to everyone that comes through to this channel. All right? You're playing with the majors. You're playing with the top boys in this industry. The most liquid industry in the world, which is actually Forex. All right? And cryptocurrency is slowly becoming that industry as well. Now you're, work, you're, you're involving yourself in two of the most liquid markets in the world. Do you think it's going to be that easy? Do you think it's simple to just come onto a YouTube channel and assume that he's going to tell you when to enter and when to exit? The least that I can do is to give you guys guidance to help you understand with numerous examples on understanding the way the business model works. Now, you're probably getting the general idea that I'm repeating a lot of the same thing over and over again. But each night there's a new member in my channel and I have to address my audience so they're aware of what to, to expect. Trading has been given the impression that it's easy to do, okay? Well, what it takes me in five minutes, Elon said it, what takes me 30 minutes to achieve, okay? I've spent the past 10, 30, 20 years trying to work out to give me that ability to do it in 30 minutes. You can't put your pressure, put yourselves under that pressure to behave like that. You can't expect after watching a stream for four months, okay, to effectively be thorough and proficient in the strategy unless you've put the commitment to understand it. You know, it all depends on your ability to learn. But for the average person coming through, stepping into crypto or trading for the first time, do not put pressure on yourself to overachieve. Okay? It's good to have aspiration. It's great to have desire. But you really have to put the work in and understand that this game is difficult. It is the hardest, easiest way to make money. But you have to be accepting of the uncertainty that is hitting this place. We will never know where price is going to go next. Okay, because I did this little projection right here on the 33747. Did I understand that it was going to go there guaranteed? No. But I like to put my neck on the line. I like to say, and I believe in my analysis. If I've read the way they've been moving price, okay, I will agree that it will come back to this point to test the 50. And this was the point based on the on the notable volume coming in right here, the stopping volume, and the fact that the RSI showed me a shark fin and it was showing divergence as well. So I took the risk to showcase that to you guys because I could have been wrong and you guys would have thought, man, shut up, Tino. Yeah? But I believe in my strategy. I understand it and I've sat through enough price action to be able to set up things like this. Do I get it right all the time? No. The strategy is only successful 85% of the time. There are people that are smashing that to 95%. I congratulate you guys. You understand something. But when there is chaos happening, guys, we understand what, we, what the market maker is doing. All right, and we have to be observant and we have to be we have to be smart with the way we translate their behavior, guys. Don't buy into the hype. Don't fall trapped to the emotional triggers that they set by giving you these big vector candles. Let them do their business. You step in when they start moving out of the zone and they do it ever so slowly as well. Yeah. FOMO Sapien. You know, the wise cockney. <laughs> nice one, bruv. I heard Baby Shark Token is the next Doge. Well, congratulate Baby Shark Token. You know.
what we understand right now, guys, with the patterns themselves, Ethereum is coming to a very important zone right now. She's at the psychological low. She's tested that. Is this the point that they come away from it? Remember, as I said to you guys, they're going to do one or two things. They're either going to pull away from it, from the upside, to the upside, sorry, or to the downside for the psychological low. Okay? On the bigger pattern, all right? You can see that Ethereum, and look, go back in the previous streams. We spoke about this zone, guys. She's only come back to this vector candle right here. And look what she's done. She came back straight towards it. And now she's looking to move out of the zone. Look at the aggressive behavior. Divergence yet again. Outside the volatility band, back inside the volatility band. Okay. Now we will only know if this is the first part of this W formation. Okay. If they hit the 50 and come back down and show support and bounce away, happy days. All right. But we're very close to liquidity pools now. All right. Believe me, guys, I'm desperate for you guys to understand this because then I'm not just this cockney trader. <laughs> That's just shouting at you guys all night, every night, telling you about rise, retrace, continuation. I don't care where price goes next. I don't care what the price is. I just need to follow the market maker's intention. And I'm for today was an example of that. Pay attention to what they do. You know that as it's dropping, sit back. If your money's in cash, wait, wait, wait. Take your shot. Pay to play. Understand and apply the concepts. If you're not successful, fine. Don't make a judgment on your ability to understand this strategy after five trades or after one trade. Don't do it. Give yourself a sample size of at least 500 trades. And you're thinking, how am I going to achieve 500 trades? Well, trade light. Yeah. Got had a, I've got um, a dollar yen trade on. Okay. Sat through this chaotic behavior today so i started building a position as this candle started to spike down um sorry it was it was this point here i started building a position to go long um and i anticipated a retrace back to the 50 in order to actually add more to the trade okay however we had the news announcements about a strike on the by the american government towards the trade officials in china they're going to reduce they're going to put a some easing or sanctions on them or something like that and it caused this sell-off down here but what led me to just keep a hold of the trade was the fact that we are in the psychological low and we had a stopping volume candle that looked to recover this zone i anticipated they would come back to this point okay and this big green vector candle right here solidified that zone and it came up we had some wild action by the market in new york session and now we're just slowly riding the 50 ema flip over to gold Gold hasn't really done much today. She sold off a little bit as well. Okay, but the tension has been on Bitcoin. All right. Sorry, guys. Forgive me if I'm going at 100 miles an hour. Okay. Forgive me because I've got the podcast. Okay. What I want you guys to do is the podcast starts in less than a couple of minutes. Okay. Let's make our way over to the podcast. Uh, Mike, can you please share the podcast? Um, we're going to be talking to State of Crypto. All right. And just get the the link should be coming up shortly on the the Mike Dutch podcast, guys. We're gonna have a little bit of a conversation over there, and we'll probably talk about this in that podcast as well. Um, where is that? Where is that stuff? Can Mike? Can we get that up? Here we go. I need some links. The best trading book I ever read. Mark Douglas trading in the zone. Mark Douglas trading in the zone. That's the best book. All right. Why is that book the best book? There we go. Guys, go and subscribe to Mike Dutch's podcast right now because we're going to be having a conversation with State of Crypto. I'm just going to do some closing points right now and then I'm going to make my way over there, guys. Make it short and sweet. If you're still going to say I didn't have to do this, could I get a refund? <laughs> well, why have you super chatted, <laughs> bro? <laughs> why are you super chatting to get a refund, bro? So that £10 you give me is actually going to cost me more because YouTube takes 30% of that. 
okay so i will give you back what i what i have received <laughs> okay red what a funny question man there you go so there's the actual mike park yeah thank you very much blood of snow all right i'm going to do some closing closing points right now okay we're not out the woods yet bitcoin needs to come above the 50 ema and go straight above and pass the psychological high sorry the psychological low all right once this pattern happens okay we should expect a rise retrace continuation to the upside this is only if the 50 ema shows support alternatively we could get the second leg of the w formation where price will come and hold at the 50 ema notable volume comes in and then price will drop if it drops lower it has to stay within this zone because what will happen is they will bring price back down towards this vector candle okay and recover this small area here and then we should see the second leg play out and move to the upside okay that is what we're waiting for on the longer term on the hour time frame okay same with ethereum ethereum needs to go above the sea the good thing about ethereum is this she's at the psychological low right now and she could be working towards seeing that zone okay if it hits the 50 ema on the 50 on the one hour time frame if it stalls and looks to pull back we don't want it to pull back any further than this green vector candle to effectively form the second leg of a w formation okay is this the formation that's gonna take price higher all right if it isn't guys if 50 ema forms a resistance and it comes back down and takes out this area right here we could be projecting towards the tw the 2134 zone or the new sessions range daily low okay same with bitcoin if this play doesn't hold we should be seeing effectively we may see the range daily low right here which is the 30k mark now we are near the 30,000 mark so it could get interested they will need to show us strength and favor to the upside by holding this zone to avoid going down to the 30k mark all right xrp as well same story for xrp guys the 50 looks like it's going to be forming a resistance but we will only know if they hold this zone right here okay right book name one more time mark douglas trading in the zone mark douglas trading in the zone the shaking out of the short sellers is going to happen on the second leg this is now hitting the stops for the short sellers yes but they want to get the short sellers committed back in again and then the shifting out of the zone will effectively move price out and completely crush everyone in this zone and we should start looking to take out these previous projection zones okay so make yourselves ready head over to the podcast guys if you are new to the channel please feel free to subscribe we stream every single night and we have the projections channel also as well the projections channel is pinned to the chat right now so make your way over to subscribe to that as well i update the projections channel every single day and um, well tuesday wednesday and thursday and we just talk about bitcoin ethereum and xrp before the london session okay so get yourself over there and subscribe to that that's only eight minute to ten minute videos on price action for the three main coins and i'm going to be releasing the forex projections channel also okay so <sighs> my trading style beach junkie my trading style is i'm originally a scalper okay but i use the 15 minute and the one hour and the one minute time frame those are my sweet spots for my scalping okay the way a swing trader would use the daily time frame is how i would use the one hour time frame okay um oh john wilson you're asking that now for doge i can't do it i've got to head over to the podcast guys because mike is waiting for me with state of crypto show some love to state of crypto tonight guys okay he's been on the crypto scene for a little while all right he's a lovely guy and you know we're gonna go and have a conversation with him so go and support my guy as well because that's what it's about at the end of the day it's we're in a small environment as crypto channels all right we've got to help each other you know, there's there's no point. Everyone's going to be talking about crypto soon. So why not help everyone involved in, in that environment, man? You know, 
There's no glory here, guys. There's no glory in this channel right now. The glory is made from the community. All right? Because without the community, there'd be no channel. I'll just sit, be sitting talking to myself, talking charts. I've been doing that for so many years. I had no community. Stepped onto YouTube. Now I've got this beautiful community. Wonderful people. Mad love and respect to all of you. All right? So, podcast. Um, can't find anything. I don't know if it's gone on yet. But, yeah, you just go over and subscribe. I think it's going to go live. Right, I'm going to pop over, guys, now. I'm going to head over to the um, to the podcast. Let's get over there and have a conversation with my guy, State of Crypto and Mike. All right? Mad love to all of you guys. Okay? Stay safe. Trade well. Peace.